Spring Valley City is tracking a growing number of non-emergency 911 calls. They say they want to reduce the load on their phone banks. Yeah, Channel 5 Cecilia Gutierrez explains how a new program may be the answer to their problem. It's called the Mobile Integrated Healthcare Pilot Program, and it's aimed to reduce the number of non emergent 911 phone calls. <laughs> it's a day Gabriel Morales will never forget the day he had to call 911 to save his mother's life. I cannot do anything because I was so nervous. So I got 911. Morales says that day emergency responders got there quickly, but he knows sometimes they get tied up with phone calls that aren't considered emergent. It's simple to send a 911 and they take everything, you know, police department, uh, firefighters. Brownsville Fire Chief Jarrett Sheldon says they receive several non emergent calls a day. Some of our uh, citizens that really rely on the 911 system for their primary health care provider. The non-emergent calls can tie up emergency responders, but a new program could change the number of those calls they receive. Basically expanding our resources uh, and our services and the quality assurance. The program will identify the people who frequently call for non-emergent assistance and send a group of paramedics to the home. We'll get a patient, an elderly patient, fall a lot. The goal of this program is basically go in their home, find out why are they falling. You know, why are we responding three times a week, four times a week to these homes? and really get to know these patients and be able to fix the problem, you know, prevent them from having further injury. The Mobile Integrated Healthcare Pilot Program will also help frequent callers find resources they need that are already available in the community. Whether it's uh, assistance with food, shelter, and, and getting them connected with the right resources or nonprofits or with their doctors. Sheldon says the goal is to get people the help they need and to keep as many ambulances as they can on the streets in case of a major emergency by reducing the number of non emergent calls. And Chief Sheldon says this program is actually modeled by a similar program out of San Antonio. He says the program here should launch by mid November. In Brownsville, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News at 6.